you need to factorize this expression we see that there is nothing common in the different terms of the expression observe that we have a square term here and a square term here so can we use the identity a square minus b square well in the current form no because 16 and 81 are written outside the square part for using a square minus b square we need to have the entire term within the square part but also observe that 16 can be written as 4 square and 81 can be written as 9 square so we can actually put these coefficients inside the square part so let's do it 16 can be written as 4 square so we have 4 into 2x minus 1 whole square because this when expanded will give 4 square which is 16 into 2x minus 1 whole square which is what we have here 81 is 9 square so we can write this part as 9 into x plus y whole square so now we have square of something minus square of something so a square minus b square this entire part is a and this entire part is b so a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b so let us apply that identity here a plus b so we write 4 into 2x minus 1 plus 9 into x plus y into a minus b 4 into 2x minus 1 minus 9 into x plus y this is what we have this is a b so a plus b this is a this is b so a minus b so a square Minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Now let us simplify this. We get four into two x is eight x minus four plus nine x plus nine y. Simplifying the second part. 4 into 2x is 8x minus 4. Negative 9 into x is negative 9x. Negative 9 into y is negative 9y. Now combine the like terms. 8x plus 9x is 17x. Negative 4. So there is no constant term. We have a 9y here. so we write 9y minus 4 for the second part we have 8x minus 9x so negative x we have negative 9y and we have negative 4 now observe that these three terms have negative sign so we can take a negative 1 common from them so we take a negative 1 and write it here right in front so it's the same as placing the negative sign no need to write the one again so we have 17x plus 9y minus 4 into x plus 9y plus 4 so this is the factorized form of this expression you can even expand it and check we'll get an expression which can be reduced to this expression so we have factorized it using the identity a square minus b square